Enemy activity nearby. The drone is up. I'm moving to position. I see a Let me target. get into position. I've got the target. I got a third target. Yeah, well, he's got, got, got more. Got the target. Say the word, boss. Target eliminated. Cartel gunman by the helipad. Just spotted one with submachine guns. And baby makes three. I got a target carrying Getting submachine a guns. Moving to a good sight line. Target acquired. Standing by. Hold on, let target. me get a good sight line. I don't have a shot. Ready to engage. Tango down. I got one narco. Tell me where. Over by the crate of comm gear. The lieutenant's on the run. Sniper! There's always another chopper out there somewhere, right? Check it out, weapons case.
spotted one with submachine guns. I'm moving Let me get position. in position. Wait one. Let me get in position. Target marked. Got the target. Say the word, boss. Target eliminated. I got it, I'll fly. I'm on. the rebels were to come get their new toys. I'll drive. I'll catch up with you. Esto es ese vato. Radio Santa Blanca con DJ Perico. Dale vato loco. School time, compas. La clase is in session. For all you new to this little corporation, for everybody who might be looking to join the benevolent Santa Blanca. This is a little lesson called How to Make Cocaine. All right, we start with the lovely Maravillosa leaves. Our wonderful cocaleros grow down here in Bolivia. These leaves are then ground up into a little powder. Some of this powder, as it look at green, but really not that much, stays in its powder form, and you can find it at your local grocery 
grocery store in the same fucking aisle as tea. All the rest of that green powder is mixed up with a little diesel, some potassium, and some other chemicals. Then you heat it and stir it up like a big Chinese stir fry. Then, when it's still hot, you squeeze the good shit out of the coca. You keep the good shit in a pot, and you throw in some baking powder. Let that shit bubble till all the liquid that's left evaporates. Now, way you got cocaine. It's gonna look dirty as shit, but under just a little bit of heat, your portable turns white, and you're in business. Easy. Now tell your mama you don't need no school. You got DJ Betty. Cool.
shifted ops to Kay Manis. What have you got for us? For the past couple of years, the cartel has been experimenting with high-tech submarines as a way to smuggle powder into the U.S. Best we can tell, these subs follow one of the tributaries up to the Amazon, then into the Atlantic for a transit to the Florida coast. Jesus, it's a couple thousand miles. Exactly. The man running the program is called El Cerebro. We've got almost nothing on this guy. Rumor has it he's some kind of genius, a real mad scientist type. We know he's been ordering all kinds of military-grade electronics to upgrade his subs capabilities. We need a better picture of what's going on in Caimanes. Get me all the intel you can on their submarine ops, as well as El Cerebro and his research. If you get actionable intel on the cartel submarine fleet, take them out. Let's put some hurt on El Cerebro and see how he reacts. Maybe he'll make a mistake and we can grab him. Sounds good. We're on it. Most cartel members are violent idiots who are too high to care. But Patricio Mendez Valle, a.k.a. El Cerebro, is an oddball genius who's too fucking smart to bother. Nidia Flores spotted his intellect when he was just a kid. She sent him to college in Mexico and later grad school in California. Word is he was too strange and misanthropic for even that crowd. But he popped up on our radar. El Cerebro heads up the cartel's submersible program out of Caimenez. From Caimenez, his semi-submersibles, sometimes carrying as much as 10 tons of cocaine, head downriver to Brazil, then to the Atlantic. From there, floating just a few feet below the surface, they can go all the way to Mexico, even as far as Florida. But smuggling with these semi-submersibles will soon be a thing of the past. He and Nydia have ambitions to make reusable, fully submersible craft. Think what a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise could do with a fleet of submarines. Smuggling would be just the start. If we're gonna take down these subs, we need El Cerebro and his jagged ass brain intact and cooperative. Just remember, he's Nydia's pet project. She won't give him up easy. Here we go. This map's got locations for cartel subs anchored along the river. If we move fast, we can take them out before they head out on another smuggling run. They've seen us. Contact near the stack of tires. Shit, take cover! We got a fucking man down! This AO is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. Bowman's got files for us and all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn.
Her Santísima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter, that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us. Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They could pay us back later. Man, you'll never let me drive anymore. Just cause that one time? They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Baquita's is love. A smuggler from the age of six, El Baquita's father used to tape Acapulco gold on his son's body and then send him across the border. He called these trips vacaciones familiares, family vacations. By the time he was 13, Baquita was a trapeciador, a master smuggler. Cigarettes, alcohol, name brand clothes, DVDs, oil, wildlife, weapons, and of course, people. One time, he even smuggled in half a kilo of yellow cake uranium. If someone wanted it, El Baquito could move it. But it was never really about the money. For him, it was the rush. Until he met the beauty queen. Nidia Flores saw his talent and made him her right-hand man. Nidia was the brains. Baquita was the brawn. The thing is, he was head over heels from the moment he first laid eyes on her. Nidia never felt the same way, but... One drunken night, she gave in. A little bit of sperm roulette, and nine months later, they had a daughter, Valeria. They say every man has a fatal flaw. El Buquita has two.
The alert signal's coming from the truck. Something's up. Dead bodies everywhere, money all over the place. Weird. Stay frosty, everyone. They didn't even take the cash. Well, this shit was personal. Somebody new's in town and they're going to war with the cartel. Better call this in. Bowman, this is Nomad. We've got a situation. We picked up an alert signal and tracked it to a crashed vehicle. We got dead Sicarios all over the place. Worried about your job security? And whoever did this didn't take any of the money. But that doesn't feel like Rebels or Unidad. No, there's something strange happening. Oh, shit. I think I may know what this is about. Wait one. Nomad, let me introduce an old friend. She's with Rainbow, and she might be able to shed some light on the situation. Nomad, this is Valkyrie. One of our operators recently went off grid, and we suspect she's in Bolivia. We don't know what she's there for, but the crash scene sounds like her work. She's a good operator, but she can get carried away. We want to handle this in family, but we need to move fast. The clock is ticking on this one. We could sure use your help bringing this one home. We're happy to lend a hand, well, as long as we get the go-ahead from Bowman. If there's action in Bolivia, I want in on it. Nomad, you're clear to assist Rainbow, but remember, you'll still report to me. Keep Valkyrie in the loop on anything you find. I hope you know we do the same for you. We already have an operator on the ground in Bolivia. Her name is Twitch. Link up with her and show her what you've found. I'm patching the coordinates to you now. Valkyrie out. Let's go. We're gonna meet a rainbow operator named Twitch. She's a tech expert, does a lot of work with drones. She's the real deal, so everyone look sharp and be on your best behavior. Support. I know this guy. Don't give him any shit, or he's liable to feed you your own liver. Patching him through now.
Nomad, this is Matchwood. How do you read? Matchwood? I read you five by five. I'm in country without my usual. A girl says your pipe hitters who know the neighborhood. You tell us what you need, we'll make it happen. I'm gonna want somebody to watch my back. I'll drop you a line when I'm in position. Roger that. Look, this is not the time to be playing cowboy. Tread lightly, don't drop any bodies unless I give you the word. You copy. Understood. This is a stealth op. Match what up. Looks like we're riding shotgun with Sam Fisher. <laughs> I got eyes on the Sicario leader. Let's give him a scare. Let him tell his amigos to fear us. Get down, chopper! Chopper, hit the dirt. Oh, here we go. They've seen us. Call the rebels for mortar fire. Got it, amigo. Shut out. Uh, Hang in there. I'm coming to you. Uh, uh, took you some. Enemy reinforcements incoming. Head to our last position. They know we're here. Call for some rebels to back us up. Get down, chopper! Hit the dirt. Frag out. My mierda culeros. Down. Get down. Chopper. You must be Twitch. And you must be the vaunted ghosts that I hear so much about. We hear you need a hand. Cavera, one of our Brazilian operators, went AWOL. I tracked her to Bolivia, but I lost her trail. I heard you found something interesting. We found a truck full of money and a bunch of dead Sicarios. So they killed everyone and left the money behind? Sounds like it could be our girl. Take me to the truck. I want to see it for myself. Let's roll.
Go ahead, I'll catch up. I'm in, let's go. Being in Bolivia reminds me of Brazil during Operation Mystic Tiger. What can you tell us about Caveira? I can tell you. You better hope she's in a good mood when we find her. What would bring her down here? What connection does she have to Bolivia? I wish I knew. She grew up in Hosina. She was arrested for some petty stuff when she was a kid before she joined Bo. Think she's got some connection to the cartel? Caveira? No way. She's one of Rainbow's best interrogators. She loves the work. Maybe a little too much. to look around. You and your team hang back. Be my guest. The truck has a satellite GPS tracking its movements. Find anything? That's definitely Caveira's work. The only thing I found was the location of the camp the truck left from. It's not much to go on, but it's all we've got. Then let's check the place out. 